<laughs> What's up? This is Jake, and I'm joined with Greg today. And we're coming at you with the topic of simplicity. Keeping it simple. Whether that's in the principles that you use to go through life, or in your day-to-day -day behaviors, or even in relationships, or at your job, or when you're on the journey of finding your higher purpose. So what do you think about keeping it simple, Greg? Well, man, I mean, keeping it simple for me penetrates into all aspects of my life, man. You know, I mean, from my spiritual practice, from my day-to-day -day life, you know, um, I mean, even into the food that I cook, you know, I like to cook food and I think it's important you don't have to think too hard and get a hundred different ingredients. All you need is a couple good quality staple ingredients, simple, and it's a win, man, you know? Um, I think my spiritual practice, I try not to intellectualize it too much. I try to uh, just do a couple things that are powerful and, you know, don't overthink it. You know, I try not to overthink it. I try to just go with the flow and you know, live in the moment and live in a place of gratitude. And I think if I do those things, you know, it works out better. It works out better than trying to like get in my head and think about 10 steps ahead or, you know, what happened yesterday. If I try to really focus on living for now, keeping the way that I live my life simple, it just works out better. Yeah. You know, I feel better, I feel happier. Just the other day, I actually had just pasta with butter and Parmesan cheese. That's it. And the person I was with when we were trying to, to make dinner, she was just like, oh, we need to like put more of this in there. Or, you know, like yeah. we need this sauce and this. And I'm like, let's just keep it simple. And it's one of those things that when you keep life simple, like it just keeps getting better and better. And it's not like you have to add in all this stuff, right? Yeah. Like I don't have to complicate it. And that's what my mind wants to do, especially being somebody who's in recovery, my mind wants to just intellectualize it and try and figure it out. And I think that in figuring it out and, and trying to understand it completely that I'm gonna somehow like, you know, just appear there. Right. Magically yeah. appear. Magic. As right. the finished product, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And, and really t how I keep it simple is I just think of it in terms of like action. Like if I just take simple actions day by day, I'm gonna get a different result. And I don't really have to be in the results business or figure out or have that outcome dependency on like what life is going to be like because I really don't know. Right. Um, but I, if I incorporate those those principles and keep it simple, then I know that it's going to turn out good. It's going to turn out better than it was before um, using those new principles as opposed to just the old ones. Right. So I actually ended up eating, I think, like five bowls of that pasta. It was so good. And I was like, it's so simple. I don't, yeah. I don't get it. You know. Simplicity is key, man, I'm telling you. You know, there's no reason to overcomplicate things. You know, we all have so much going on in our day-to-day -day lives. We live in such a stimulating society and it's important to stay grounded. You know, just go through that day, just that one day, you know, just get through it. You know, do right. what you can do. And um, usually at the end of that, there's a delicious bowl of pasta. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so. I guess I could say how I keep it simple in my life today. Um, you know, I make sure and just get enough rest in my life. You know, I always do something in the morning to turn it over and to get out of myself. Um, and I have this like very specific, simple routine every morning yeah. um, that just puts me back into that, that flow of life and allows me just to keep it simple. And what I've realized, you know, through that turning it over and, and just staying grateful and you know, and, and reading my morning meditations and, and reminding myself of who I am. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm in recovery. I need to get my stuff handled today, yeah. you know? And if I don't, that's a huge problem. So when I do that though, like take those simple actions, like I start to have these realizations, you know, and it's not like I even had to intellectualize it or try and figure it out. When I just do the right thing and do what I know is right for myself day in and day out, then I have these realizations and I learn all that stuff. Like I didn't have to figure it out. I was able just to get the realization and the experience and then that taught me everything. So 
what I found out is that I spent 25 years of my life overcomplicating it. Yeah. <laughs> and then what it is for me today is simple action and having realizations. And that's what puts me in a position where I have long lasting recovery. So thank you so much, Greg. I yeah. appreciate you coming on and sharing your experience with us. Yeah. And um, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you for tuning in. You could also hit us up on change your life recovery with underscores in between those. That's where you're seeing this video right now. You can send us a direct message if you have any questions and you could change it and you could check out changeyourliferecovery.com. So thank you for tuning in. We'll see you soon.